Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Pyro Falcon's Let's Play Extravaganza, and we are playing Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. I've got the Akamura on guest commentary. What's up, dudes? And good God, I've got my TV volume up too loud. So where we last left off, we're on our way to Monstro Town, still, and uh, it's taking forever. This is probably the longest dungeon. Well, it's not even a dungeon, it's just the longest area. Um so far in the game, although I think I keep saying that about basically everything. I forget most of Bowser's magic. It just gets keep, it just Rotate keeps getting the control longer pad. and longer and longer until it's a long stretch of tedium that nobody wants to do. Well, that whole thing was retarded and pointless. Okay. Ugh. These, uh, mushroom or Suddenly part. we're in the middle of a rave? Yeah. Dude, I have so much energy today, I have a feeling I might beat the game. What time is it? Oh, 8.30? Uh, eh, maybe not. Time for you to buy a watch? Let's see, that's six hours. No, we, I probably can't beat it tonight. while I punch myself in the face? Yeah, please do. Ow. <laughs> okay, that kind of hurt. I, I love it when the enemies bail. I hit myself in the eyebrow ridge. Ow. So it's like kind of fuzzy oh, okay. around my eye. Anyway. Okay, yeah, that hurts. I think that's going to swell up. Please stop hurting yourself. All right, we got a couple <laughs> level ups on that star. Mario hits level 17. What have I been doing with him? I keep mixing it up. It's the opposite of norm of the way I normally do it. Okay, the way I normally do it, uh, odd know. is hit points. So for Mario, he just hit odd, so it's power. Okay. I think it. I, th I think we flip flop so many times it doesn't matter anymore. Peach has an even level divisible by four, so she gets power. All right, so there's the two level ups. And I'm quiet for no apparent reason. We're almost through this dungeon. Um, basically, there's a second part to the dungeon, and I think we are heading... Like, this hole that we're right next to, I believe, is what leads there. But, of course, as usual for RPGs, I always try to grind... Because you can never have enough levels. Well, I guess that's not true. In this game, the level cap is 30, so you can have enough levels. What's cool about the level cap in this game is, like, it's high enough that if you achieve level 30, the final boss is decent, but he's still not a pushover, and I like that. So, because there are games, like, with Final Fantasy VII, um, the, I didn't like the fact that Knights of the Round was an I win button for the final boss. But, I mean, I suppose it sort of was in balance because either you spend a whole bunch of time leveling up or you spend a whole bunch of time doing some stupid BS to get a golden chocobo so you could get the ultimate thing so you could just win instantly. Insta so it sort win. of balances. Um, yeah, see. You'll sell me a star for 400 coins? Ugh, sure. That'll save I never time. played Tales of Symphonia enough to see if they had a level cap. I assumed it probably capped off at 999, because I don't know. But, um... Not... I think oh, Jesus Christ. It was sort of balanced in that Sweet. your weapons had limited power. Like, except for the Devil's Arms, which were a pain in the ass side quest. The devil arms? Was that like the ultimate weapon? Not until you unlock the side quest. I think I spoke about it in a previous let's play. You have to beat a vision. Right. But like once you do that for every enemy you kill, it gains like a point in damage. These freaking jerks are making so much money. 400 bucks for a star and then 100 bucks for a shortcut. Uh, okay. But you yeah, proceed like through the pipe in the next door. You have plenty of good things to look forward to. I remember that the fortunes actually do mean something, but I cannot remember what they mean. If you hit them in a in a bad order, you have to fight bosses, and if you do them in a good order, which I just did, I think that's actually the way to get out of here. Two or one? Is it? I think so. I think I basically just shortcutted my way out of here. Anyway, sorry, go ahead. Um, yeah. In some cases, I needed the Devil's Arms. Like, Rain was always very low attack point for me. Who or what is Rain? She's One of your the, characters? Yeah, she was the healer. Ah. So, I staff see. chick. She was Eris, only not as powerful. Gotcha. 
Sorry, Rain. But, um... Yeah, I actually needed the Devil's Arms to complete the Coliseum for Rain. Which grants you additional titles. This would all make more sense to me, probably, if I, you know, I, played the freaking game. I need game. to get Tales of Symphonia so I can play it for you and you can be enlightened. That'd be cool. What is that? That's the GameCube one? Yes. I mean, I like RPG. I'm not burned out of them yet. Like, my love for them has sort of been reignited. Um, I think there's a hidden box up there on top of that one. Yeah. I don't think my love of RPGs will ever wane. Which is weird because I nope. hate fantasy shit. Really? Like Game of Thrones. I probably will never see Game of Thrones. Ever. Like. That's interesting. I think Lord of the Rings, like, killed fantasy for me. Lord of the Rings? Yeah. Why? Because it was just too much? Whoa, Golden Balloon statue. Yeah, it wasn't that it was too much. It's just I saw Lord of the Rings, the trilogy, and then okay. that was it. So I did screw something up here. So this is Golden Balloon statue, and he's guarding all this super awesome treasure, which you can see. But I have to get a key, or he won't let me through. Okay, but, yes, yeah. I got the freaking point. Don't tell me I just... Am I... Am I stuck? Uh-oh. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> so I screwed up the fortune. So now we have to go back. Is it? Let's see. Mm, I'm so hungry. I wish I had something to eat. Okay. So this is below, I think. The true below. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we last saw this dude way back in the day. So we're going to uh, switch out the team here. We're going to use the A team. And we are going to... Okay, so we're going to check equipment here. Safety badge so she can't be muted. That's fine. Amulet. Okay, let's... All right, this dude... Let's get the true form pins. Because I believe this guy can still turn us into... Uh, um, scarecrows, which is bad. So let's do this. But, um, like... I read and watched The Lord of the Rings, and from then on, I could always see the tropes of the characters in Lord of the um, Rings, and the endless fetch quests, and all this other bullcrap tropes, and I just could not disassociate it from Lord of the Rings. I was basically rereading Lord of the Rings every time I tried any new fantasy. Interesting. I never forget a taste. In fact, I can clone someone after just one slurp. Watch, you all look delicious, but how do you taste? Mmm, tastes peachy. Ha <laughs> ha, now that <laughs> joke makes sense. <laughs> See, that joke didn't make sense back then. So she makes a clone, and a long time ago, I had mentioned that there was a way you could actually read Mario's thoughts, and this is the way. If you have Mallow in your team, and Balom copies Mario, you can read Mario's thoughts, the, the Mario clone, and all he says is dot dot dot. Mega recover? Oh god, we gotta put a stop to that nonsense. There we go. Oh, see? There we go. Mario's gonna get cloned. Blech. Ah, sour. <laughs> it's like you shit him out. Exactly. Out from the top of his head. That's fucking disgusting. It is. Well, apparently... Oh, jeez. Oh, God. His timing is weird. Maybe he doesn't turn us into things anymore. Oh, well. No harm in beating the crap out of him with the A-team. So, um, so is it, is it all, like, you, you don't, ma uh, <clears throat> excuse me, you don't mind, like, Final Fantasy, as you oh, said, no. so. Yeah, it's like, like, literature is all Lord of the Rings. I see. That's I an hope unfair mine isn't. No, yours is different. Definitely. That's good. But, um, like, I know that's an unfair assessment, but still. No. I mean, that's sort of the problem. Once you get, like, some sort of, uh... Once you get someone who, you know, sort of sets the... What the fuck? Oh, God. Oh, okay. Once you have someone who sort of sets the tone for a genre, I mean, everyone yeah. sort of copies it, which... I mean, shoot. Friggin' 
elves and orcs and dwarves and everything is like right fucking mainstream now exactly I used to be worried because in the one in in my first draft I had written in elves and I thought that, like someone had copyrights on elves and you know because I was dumb glad to know nobody has copyrights on elves but they are boring yeah I mean there's only so many permutations of the characters that you can have until they get samey right Okay, here we are in Monstro Town. Like, even the Tales series has elves in some of the games, and they're kind of samey. Okay, see elves. this door? It's been sealed. That's where the hidden boss is. Spoil, spoil. <laughs> but it's going to take me a while to get over there. Now, see that key up there? I had mentioned that I have to use a key to get all that treasure shit. I need that key. That's where it is. But inside this house, we have Mr. Puppy. Thank you. Stands at 18. Yeah, it's about as good as I can do. Whatever. And then this is how you get the key. You have to talk to him a few times. I think it's like seven. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Okay, now we go outside. And all that vibrating made the key fall. Really? Yes. Sometimes I hear the guy next door. He's always mumbling about a crystal this and an evil that. Isn't a crystal some kind of shiny rock or something? I know I've seen those somewhere. It's a nice hint. But we'll deal with that later. Now, one of these dudes, I think he's in here, tells you, or not, feel free to rest here. Oh, God, we aren't doing that right now. Um, there's some dude somewhere here. Oh, the dojo! I forgot about the dojo! Oh. Jagger, he's one of the dudes who, uh... What the uh, hell's going on? Jagger is one of the guys who, um... Uh, God, I forgot about Jinx, too. I can't believe I forgot. Okay. Jagger is one of uh, Bowser's Koopa Troop. But he bought, uh, he sort of dodged the draft, and now he's in Monstro Town studying under some dude named Jinx. So, you can get some nice stuff here, but we'll deal with that in a second. There's a lot to do in this area. Um, bear with me, guys. It's been a while. Okay. Uh, uh, Goomba. So, you can see a lot of... Uh, <laughs> a lot of uh, Bowser's troops bailed and they came here. Oh, God. They're babies. Gotta love babies, huh? I hate babies. Those babies even sell you shit. I hate babies. I know. They're 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 frightening babies. And those babies, babies have fangs. Ew. I exactly. That's that's disgusting. Alright, is it it must be here then. Okay, one of these douchebags. Monster Mama? One of these douchebags tells you how many coins are, or how many hidden boxes you have. And if memory serves, if you have gotten every single box for the, that you possibly, <laughs> if you have gotten every single box possible, then by the time you get here, you have 11 to go. The what? The old geezer from Rose Town. I don't remember that. Okay, here it is. Okay, so if I've gotten all the boxes possible up to this point, he should tell me that I have 11 left. Uh-huh. 26? Ugh. Oh, God. Means you gotta go find 15. I've missed half of them. That's fine. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, that song, that's the third part of the song over in, at Tadpole Pond. So can you recall it by ear? Here, I'll play it again. Everybody be quiet in the comments. Shut up! So, we'll, we're gonna have to recall that tune. Okay, so... Mario here is asking Monster Mama if he, she has seen a star piece. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The only place left is up. Mario freaks out. 
There's a secret passage to the sky at Bean Valley. But first, you must scale the cliff beyond the desert. Since you're such a nice guy, I'll introduce you to someone who can help you. So... <laughs> oh, here they come. Jeez. Took a while. Sergeant Flutter. Awesome formation. And the uh, Hitler salute, apparently. That's offensive. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Anything we can do for a civilian. So is there an... Does this mean there's actually, like, a rigid military division of paratroopers that's outside of the command of Bowser? Uh, I guess so. The orders are, get mustache over the cliff. We will succeed! <laughs> <laughs> Tight formation! We have liftoff! Bye, guys. Okay, well, thank you, Monster Mama. Okay, so... But we have shit to do before we do all that. So let's visit the shop, see if we've got anything going on here. Spike Link, okay. New weapon for Bowser. New armor for Bowser. Need some... Jeez, oh, I'm maxed out on items. Okay, we don't need the honey. We certainly don't need this many pick-me-ups. We definitely don't need that many able juices. Okay, that's better. All right. Can you go talk to that star one more time? The star? Yeah. Um, ah, uh, the only problem with the spiked link is now we have lost the hurly gloves. So no more Mario chucking. Oh. But anyway, um, we actually won't need to contact the star for, oh, here, let me show you what the babies do. Babies give you shit. So the babies will sell you standard mushrooms. And see how it says recovers 30 hit points, but. Recovers? Yeah. Recovers. I never noticed that. Yes, it should be recovers. Yeah. Anyway, I, I have an eye for typos. <laughs> but yeah, if you eat one of these mushrooms, you recover thirty hit points, but you get turned into a mushroom. Uh, so yes. the so not only are they babies with fangs, but they're poisoning you too. Evil little bastards. They are. Okay. Um. Let's see. That's the save point, which is weird. Wow, it's been two levels since I saved. That's crazy. crazy so, sauce. oh, we're gonna check out this J here. That the J is for Jinx because it's Jinx's uh, dojo. So we're actually gonna go ahead and do the first dojo stuff. And if isn't this one on one, if I remember right, or not? Oh well, nope. But we've got the A team, so this should be pretty much a cinch. Um. <coughs> So, I think you have to fight three or four people here. The end game is fighting Jinx himself, and he's one tough little bastard. But if you can beat him, you get some really good... Uh, you get a, an awesome accessory for yourself. Um, I don't think I can beat Jinx, but I can certainly beat at least Jagger here. Possibly his... Yeah, that was easy. So, I think I can fight and beat his second... Oh, here comes Jinx. I know you can barely see him, but that's Jinx. He looks like a bird, but he's not. He's just a little tiny baby thing with a green thing. Wait a minute. Oh, that, okay. Memory's coming back. You actually fight Jinx a couple times. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, you fight Jinx a couple of times. Damn. He holds back for the first time or two. Jinx is a tough motherfucker. He's really hard to beat. Yeah, he just dropped Gino on his ass. He did. Um, plus, we're getting the boss music, so you know he's important. trying to remember where the timing is. There is a timing to that. It is possible to block it. It's, I don't think it's possible to cancel it, but it is possible to block it. And you can tell that you've blocked it because rather than getting smashed on your face, you just kind of fall down rather than getting power slammed into the ground. 
Did I boost myself? Did Gino boost himself? I, can't. I don't think he did. So usually I have to face the hidden boss and the final level of Jinx at the same time, or I can't do any dance, or, or, you know, like, jeez. Got it. I think I, yep, I blocked it. Anyway, um, but that's how strong they are, like, they're almost equal in power. They're pretty ridiculous. Yay. Yeah, you get some really good stuff from beating them. It's These are those items, like, in every RPG that are unnecessary but overly powerful. He's a Bayesian. Okay, so I got him the first time. I think I have to face him twice or three times? Yeah, okay, it's three times. I'm not even gonna attempt the third one, not yet. Oh, jeez. Yeah, see that nearly killed Mario right there. Of course, that was ill time. Man, this episode's going long. Sorry, guys. Hopefully you don't mind seeing Jinx being, or kicking my ass twice. I wasn't even able to fully heal Mario. Oh, good, I blocked it. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, Jinx is a little bastard. Meanwhile, I'm just sitting here drawing. That's fine. What are you drawing? Or is it, again, inappropriate things for my audience? It's not inappropriate things. It's this character chick that I drew. I haven't quite got her story down, blocked. Pat, but she's, like, incredibly Jesus. skinny. And she's usually, like covered in layers of clothing for secrets so. for secrets secrets i am gonna have to get peach's timing down if i want to survive i i've been mistiming most of her heals i'm blocking those because if i didn't block them that was me not blocking but it missed weird i guess i should have boosted peach anyway she needs the defense since she sucks at hit points. There we go. Man, finally I'm timing that correctly. Go down, Jinx, you ass. Yeah, I'm not even going to try his third form. Because each uh, form adds more complicated attacks and continues to kick my ass. Do the, do the Tails games have those hidden bosses and such? Who? Yes. Oh, like the dude there's, with the devil arms, I guess. Yeah, a Bajan. And then there's a... In Symphonia, there's a skull boss that you fight three times, and each time you encounter him, he's, like, ridiculously OP. <laughs> nice contribution, like, Peach. Like, you can put off facing him, but unlike the mimics in the game, there's a cutoff point, so you have to go fight him at a certain time, and he'll still be ridiculously OP. Gotcha. So, like, you have to level grind, but he gives some pretty awesome shit. So, that move he just did would have insta-killed me, but I correctly blocked it. Um, he's a dick. Jinx is just straight up a dick. But I think I've got him on the ropes here. Yeah, I think Honestly, when, they, when he does a Valor up, that means you've got him on the ropes. I think there's also a mini-game, I guess, a mini-quest where you can, like, help this town recover from being trashed by the local assholes. In what game? In Symphonia. Okay. Right, sorry. But, um, you rebuild the town, and then there's these ridiculously OP weapons that are OP at the time of town saving. Yeah. And, like, they're joke weapons. Joke weapons? Yeah, like... Yes, got them. The character who fights with twin swords, Lloyd, his are a couple of huge fans. Okay. And I think Rain's staff is a deck brush. And like, a deck brush? Yes. And the character Sheena normally fights with spell cards, but she has wallets. Well, uh, we'll, we'll continue this discussion <laughs> the next time, only because I'm about to hit 25 yeah. minutes. Prisea has squeaky hammers. Adorable. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Tune in tomorrow for another episode.